Look at the records, very close. Age is not that big a thing. Height is close to the same, but the reach is the thing that you're looking at. Manuel Sanchez is longer. Sam's got to get inside. With the official introductions, here's Michael C. Williams. Bellator MMA presented by Miller Lite now features tonight's co-main event, three five-minute rounds in the featherweight division. And now live on Paramount Network, we introduce the blue corner at five foot seven, weighing in 146 pounds. Coming off his successful Bellator debut, he returns tonight with 16 professional victories, eight defeats. Fighting out of Spokane, Washington, presenting Sam Cecilia. And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner at five foot nine, weighing in 145 pounds, even as one of the top featherweights inside the Bellator cage tonight. He stands with 16 professional victories and three defeats, fighting out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, introducing Emmanuel Emmanuel Sanchez. Your referee in charge of the action, Rob Madrigal. Rob Madrigal assigned to this prominent featherweight matchup here at Bellator 198. Sanchez representing Rufus Sport. Sam Cecilia right, Sam, representing Six Jitsu Training. Let's go. The Bell in Round One fight clock brought to you by Miller Lite. Great taste and only 96 calories. Sanchez in the red gloves, Cecilia in the blue gloves. Look for the heavy handed pressure of Cecilia and, of course, for Sanchez. And he never. Never loses a lot of gas. He's a cardio machine and a high volume mixed martial artist, as you can already see, John. Exactly what he's showing you. He's got a high volume of output. That's what makes Manuel Sanchez so wow. successful. Take a look at what's happening here, though. So Sam's landing for some heavy Cecilia shots. taking his time to figure Sanchez out. He comes out like the bull against. El Matador. Good dirty boxing inside by Sam Cecilia. Utilize his wrestling not to take him down, but to keep himself from being taken down. Now he's good putting pressure. This is actually weird in my mind because I know Sam wants to stand with him and bang. He believes he can knock him out. And again, 10 of Cecilia's 16 wins have come in the opening five minutes. One minute has elapsed. And it's Cecilia putting pressure on Sanchez along the cage. Oh, rolling knee bar attempt by Sanchez. Sanchez known for a slick submission game. Six of his 16 victories via tap out. And Cecilia escapes, but Sanchez right back to it, right back to it indeed. Wow, what a night it has been. Sam needs to be careful with not getting that leg straightened out. Keep it. He wants to figure for his legs and make sure that he does not get caught in that knee bar. Cecilia has been submitted four times in his career. Escapes this submission attempt now, trying to pass guard, but instead Sanchez very aggressive and active from his back, working from the open guard, controlling Cecilia's posture. Emmanuel going after a leg lock clinic here. Went for, went for the knee bar, didn't get that. Went for a straight ankle lock, that didn't work. Here we are again, oh. Sam Cecilia on top. Long distance hammer fist up kick from Sanchez on Cecilia. Less than three minutes remaining in a frenetic first round. You gotta love the output that Emmanuel Sanchez is showing. He is not sitting here and saying, I'm just gonna relax and try to hold on. I want to put pressure on you. I want to be offensive. I want you to have to deal with things. This is what MMA should be if you're on the ground. Sanchez has never been stopped now. Cecilia trying to rain down some strikes and Sanchez still fishing for the submission. Now giving up his back. Cecilia looking for the neck. Sam needs to be careful. He's going to lose position right here. He needs to come up, put his hand to the ground. There you go. Cecilia has three top. rear naked chokes and a neck track. And now it's Sanchez attacking the back of Cecilia, hoping to be a back on Cecilia. This is the type of position that Sam has gotten in trouble before. He's okay right now. Relax. Don't let anything happen that's big. Take your time. Don't go into a big scramble and end up in a worse position. Both of them have recorded three rear naked choke submission wins. Less than two minutes remaining in the opening round. Sanchez dexterity. kicking Cecilia from behind. Trying to power, trying to muscle Cecilia down to the ground. Now looking for this the standing arm triangle choke. Here's a man. I'm telling you right now, look at it. If he gets that tight, 
He can put him out standing up. Standing arm triangle choke being employed. It is tight. You can Sanchez. see it on Cecilia's face. Three consecutive submissions to kick off Bellator 198. Are we on the verge of seeing the fourth? That pressure with the legs and being able to extend his body back is only going to make the jump down. It's over! Four first round submission finishes at Bellator 198. The latest Emmanuel Sanchez who erupts in jubilation, increasing his win streak to four, picking up his seventh submission win and should be in the pole position for the winner of Patricio Pitbull and Daniel Vichel at Bellator Rome July 14th when they battle for the Bellator 145 pound crown. Wow! Bandela Jiu Jitsu! Black Heart Rum Replay presented by the Premium Spiced Rum, the bold 93 proof rum that's edgy to the core, the official rum of Bellator MMA. Look at the position, all of a sudden gets his head right behind, sinks in the, an actual head and arm choke, brings the hand over the top. Sam is stuck in this position, but when, if he stays on his feet, he has the ability to keep a pressure that he can still keep one side open and not get choked out. When you see Emmanuel go to the ground and utilize his legs, his legs create that difference. It creates a pressure where you can push back, it makes the choke tighter, and Sam Cecilia has to tap out or he's going to go out. You know, I said that for Dylan Dennis to kick off the show, that BJJ had officially morphed to MMA. Not on this night. BJJ ruling the Bellator MMA cage. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the Bellator cage, it comes to an end officially. Three minutes, 52 seconds into round number one. The tap comes by way of an arm triangle choke. The winner by submission, Emmanuel Emmanuel Sanchez. Make it four wins in a row for El Matador, who's about to speak to Big John McCarthy. I am here with Emmanuel Sanchez. It has been a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu clinic in this cage tonight. Viva Jiu Jitsu! In Jiu Jitsu, we trust Carson Gracie team! Vandele Jiu Jitsu! You were putting on an absolute clinic going from leg locks, different leg locks, knee, knee bars to ankle locks. Talk about how you got that choke at the end. It comes from the Muay Thai clinch, you know. I knew I obviously wanted the leg lock, I wanted uh, his back, I wanted everything, and I knew he was trying to kill me. Uh, Sam is the real deal. Give it up for Sam, everybody. Sam is the real deal. I've been watching him for a long time, and he's a killer. And I was definitely prepared for this moment, and I knew I needed to finish anywhere. You took a couple of good shots from him, and from that point, you started going into grappling mode. Were you planning on standing with him, or were you thinking, I want to get this guy down? Uh, I was playing on anywhere, anytime, anywhere on the, on the canvas. I'm comfortable everywhere. I can fight off my back. I can fight off the fence. You see me flying, jumping. I was thinking a million things in my mind. I was like flying triangle, flying heel hook. What should I try right now? But, you know, I saw the opportunity for the arm triangle. I'll just take it. You get your opportunity in life, no matter what you want, seize it. Don't let it go. Go after your dreams, ladies and gentlemen. You are 17 wins now, and you are in a position to possibly fight for that featherweight title. We have a championship fight coming up in July between Daniel Weichel and Patricio Pitbull. Which guy do you want to face? If the German wins, that's dead. If the Brazilian wins, uva mohe. I'm ready for either one of them. I want it now. Who wants to see me fight for the belt? Come on, everybody. Mr. Chow, where are you? Where's Mr. Chow? Get off your phone, Mr. Chow. Mr. Coker, off your phone. You ready for me? Who's ready for a new featherweight champion? Right here, right now. I want that belt. Well, with what you just did, everyone wants to see you. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Emmanuel Sanchez. It's the Matador's era, baby.
And you thought I was loud and impassioned. Emmanuel Sanchez, El Matador, and Fuego, and why not? Huge win over Sam Cecilia, and Sanchez now on the doorstep of an opportunity at the Bellator Featherweight Championship.